Hey, and welcome to a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. I'm Ron Coddington, the editor and publisher of Military Images Magazine. I want to talk to you today, this morning, about um, the idea that Civil War soldier portrait photographs can challenge what we think we know about the hostilities from 1861 to 1865. This portrait here is a perfect example. When we think about regiments during the Civil War, we imagine them as singular units that have been organized to fight enemy soldiers on the north or the south. Uh, largely, we have an East Coast and Eastern theater mentality, and yet we also know that there were regiments and a very large war uh, in the Western theater. And so uh, those images come to mind of Johnny Reb and Billy Yank. We think about regiments as being these singular cohesive units that are filled with esprit de corps, companies that are all traveling together and mass on various battlefields and various conflicts in those Eastern theaters and those Western theaters. But of course, that was not always the case as this soldier here reminds us, um, he served in a regiment that was, uh, that was the 6th Iowa Cavalry. Um, this regiment did not see service in the Eastern theater, theater. It did not see service in the Western Theater. This regiment was organized in 1862 in the wake of tensions that were occurring between the white population and Native Americans in the frontier area. Thinking about Minnesota, thinking about Iowa, thinking about Dakota Territory. Um, this is the kind of, uh, this is part of the war that we really don't talk about a lot. And so uh, the 6th Iowa, um, unlike the vast majority of Union regiments that were organized, um, they were not um, a cohesive unit. Um, they were not traveling together as 10 companies from place to place across the southern states. They spent the majority of their time uh, in Dakota Territory, and the companies were broken up and scattered across various posts um, from Fort Randall uh, and a bunch of other places um, around the Dakotas. So um, just as regiments like the 6th Iowa don't fit the mold of what we think about when we think about Civil War regiments, this soldier doesn't either because we sometimes will think of the, uh, the, the stereotypical Iowa soldier is some young farm boy who has uh, been born and raised maybe in the area or one of the Midwestern states um, and then cast their lot with the Union Army. This soldier here is certainly not the case. Uh, his name is Joel Frank, and um, uh, he was born in Vermont and um, came with his family to his young family to Iowa just, Iowa just before the start of the Civil War um, in late 1864 um, when the very much the, the that part of the world, that part of Iowa, Dakota Territory was relatively quiet. Um, he left his job as a merchant in the town of McGregor, which is located along the Mississippi River, um, said goodbye to his young family, dons the uniform of a cavalry trooper, and heads out to Fort Randall in Dakota Territory to join Company L. Uh, he is, again, he's, he's 33 years old. He's um, old enough or just about old enough maybe to could possibly have been the father of a couple of boys in the ranks um, and not the, not the expected soldier that you might imagine um, that is serving during this time. So he has a relatively quiet existence during his service. He serves about a year uh, and is out in Fort Randall. He poses for this photograph while he's out there. Uh, and other than that, has a relatively quiet existence. So at the end of the war, he goes back home, rejoins his family. And in a slightly interesting twist, later on in life, 
he relocates to North Dakota. Um, so it is possible that while he was uh, on his military service, he may have thought, gosh, maybe someday I'd like to live here. And he did. So he lived until 1901, um, dying at about age 70. And um, uh, I've not been able to find his, his grave site. Maybe one of you will and will let me know. So that's today's installment of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. We will see you here for another episode soon. Until then, take care and happy trails.